Praise the Lord. Good morning. Greetings in the mighty name of Jesus. It is a great joy and privilege once again, beloved and friends, to be here this Tuesday morning to minister the word of God. I trust the Lord everyone is in good health and happiness regardless of our situation in our world. As I always say, beloved and friends, that we are living in a very sick and sinful world. But Jesus Christ himself promised, he says, Lo, I'm with you always. I will never leave you nor forsake you even unto the end of this world. Isn't that awesome this morning? Isn't that great? Isn't that mighty? Isn't that majestic that God himself promised to be with us in every situation? in every circumstances in every trial in every testing in every storm in every decision making he said in his words a thousand shall fall at thy side and ten thousand at thy right hand but no evil shall befall thee and no plague shall come neither dwell it welcome this morning give him a big hand <laughs> God bless you to me. sincerely from my heart I release that very special blessing upon your life today and I pray that God will bless your homes, God will bless your child, he will bless your children, he will bless your, your business, bless you on the job, give you favor and promotion on the job and whatever you do with your two hands it shall surely prosper in Jesus precious and gracious and wonderful name. Let me go further, I pray that God will bless you physically, spiritually, socially, materially, financially, educationally, every area in your life. In Jesus' precious and gracious and wonderful name today, beloved and friends, I cover each and every one of you under the precious blood of Jesus and I build a hedge <coughs> around your life for the blood of Jesus is so efficacious and the blood of Jesus is so powerful. The blood of Jesus is a repellent that destroys every yoke and every bondage and every fetter and every evil and every work of darkness today, every spirit of witchcraft, obia, demonic forces, evil, blacks, generational curses, but a fourth, second, third, or fourth generational curse, I break, I destroy, I reverse in the name of Jesus. Every curse that was pronounced upon your life, I destroy today under the blood of Jesus and in the name of Jesus, whom the Son set free, is free indeed. You are free today in Jesus' name. Let's Give a big hand and every truth is broken, every fire, every fetter, every evil, and every work of darkness is broken today. In Jesus' precious and gracious and wonderful name, the blood of Jesus. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus said in his words, healing is the children's bread. And the first covenant he made with man was the covenant of healing. For he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities, the chastisement of our peace was upon him and with his stripes I am healed, you are healed, we are healed in Jesus' precious and gracious and wonderful name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, blessed be the name of Jesus. Praise God. Father God, this morning, I pray that you give this mortal man of clay in the river of liquid fire of the Holy Spirit, born of every sickness, born of every pain, one of every disease, one of every infirmities, every evil, and every work of darkness. Today, as I minister your words, your words will go forth with dunamis and power and the anointing of the Holy Spirit that many will be healed, many will be saved, many will be blessed, many will be delivered, many will be set free from all manner of sicknesses and pain and disease and infirmities and evil and every work of darkness in Jesus precious and gracious and wonderful name amen praise God thank you Jesus before I get into the word of God this morning beloved I must give my deepest heartfelt condolences to the Gaffors family for the passing of mistress Amina Gaffors one of Diana's stalwart, the most outstanding person 
she served this country well. Yes, with the business, Gafson's Industries Limited, and she worked in so many different in field and area and served in so many different areas in this nation. Beloved and friends, her soul has gone to be with the Lord. She has fulfilled her purpose and mission on this earth. And surely she has gone, but she was wise and had wisdom and know that she has to prepare for her new home in heaven. And today she is in heaven. Her soul has granted eternal rest in the presence of the Lord. And she has gone to be in heaven with the Lord. My friends and beloved, on behalf of myself and my wife, Elizabeth, and my three children, Mark Anthony Hamilton and Joshua Emmanuel Hamilton and Melissa Rebecca Hamilton, you know, it's something strange. I smile sometimes. You know, Mr. Gaffers have school. all three of my children away from me. All three have worked with Mr. and Mrs. Gaffers. They had good encounter with uh, Mr. and Mrs. Gaffers. In fact, uh, the three children know both uh, Mr. and Mrs. Gaffers more than myself. And so on behalf of the three children, I give my deepest uh, Heartfelt condolences to the family for the loss of a loved one today. Praise God that we get dive direct into the word of God today. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. You might be surprised by what I have to say today, beloved. Beloved and friends, it's important to know about the word of God. Yes, to share this, but it's crucial to say, stay silent and focus about what is coming your way. You're watching, you might be watching this message today on on YouTube and Facebook and one of the sure one of the chosen ones likely you will not watch this message today and will feel free to turn off the content may not resonate or vibrate with your soul or spirit however today if you are a true chosen one beloved you will fully understand everything I'm about to say and explain today beloved as I stand before you today with a message that will change the course of your life are you not just it's not just words meant to catch your attention they are the very essence of truth what you're about to hear today is not just another sermon or a collection of wise sayings beloved and friends know what I'm about to share with you carries the weight of life and death it is a message that can ignite a fire <clears throat> within you have you a fire that will burn away the, the doubts, the fears, and the negativity that have held you back. This is a message that will set your mind ablaze for it rooted in the word of God, the ultimate source of truth and power. I stand before you today as a messenger, a voice in the wilderness calling out to chosen ones. Yes, beloved and friends, you are to be a witness of the reality that your words have the power to shape your destiny. Yes, the Bible tells us in Proverbs chapter 18, verse 2 to 21, death and life are in the power of the tongue, and those who love it will eat it with its fruits. This is not a, a metaphor, nor it is a poetic expression. It's a divine law, a spiritual truth that governs the very fabric of our lives. The words you speak have the power to create or to destroy, to bless or to curse, to bring life or to bring death. Yes, so I ask you today, what kind of life do you want to live? What kind of legacy do you want to leave behind, my friends? Do you want to walk in the fullness of God's blessings today? Your experience His abundance, His favor, yes, His peace. Or do you want to continue in the cycle of defeat, despair, and destruction that comes from speaking words that do not align with God's will for your life? The choice is yours. 
shoulders. Yes, and the power is in your tongue today. Beloved, welcome to the word of wisdom. If you are not already this hearing what I'm saying today, I want you to come to listen to this message. Yes, listen to this message. Keep on total with the word of God before we dive into this message today. Let us pause for a moment to reflect on the magnitude of this responsibility. God in his infinite wisdom has entrusted you with the power of speech. He has given you the ability to speak words that can shape the world around you, my friends. This is not a, to pop the big power to be taken lightly. It is a divine responsibility that requires wisdom, discernment, and self-control. In the book of Genesis, we see the power of words in action. Yes, God spoke the, into the world, in, spoke the the world into existence and God says let there be light and there was light in Genesis 1 3 with, the, with just a word God brought forth light from darkness order from chaos yes life from nothingness the same creative power that resides in you today for you are made in the image of God your words have the power to create to bring Foot life to manifest God's will on earth, beloved and friends. It is in heaven, but uh, with great power comes great responsibility. Jesus Himself warns us of the consequences of careless words. Matthew chapter 12 clearly tells us, Matthew 12 verse 36 and 37, he says, but I tell you that everyone will have to give an account on the day of judgment for every empty words they have spoken, for by your words you will be acquitted, and by your words you will be condemned. These are sobering words today, words that should make us pause and consider the gravity of what we say. Praise God, every word you speak is, is a seed planted in the fertile soil of your life. Praise God, it will be fruit, whether good or bad, whether life giving or life destroying. This is why it is crucial, crucial to speak words that align with, with God's will. Words that reflect his truth, beloved and friends, his love, his righteousness, the words you speak today will shape the reality you experience tomorrow. They will determine the course of your life, the quality of your relationships, the level of your successes, and the depth of your spiritual growth. Beloved and friends, now let us turn our attention to a battle that many of us are all too familiar with. Yes, my friends, the battle within this is a battle against, against self-sabotage, the destructive habit of speaking words that undermine our own successes, our own peace, and our own blessings. Today, how many times have you caught yourself saying things like, I'm not good enough, I can't do this, nothing ever goes right for me. These are not just idle words, they are the declaration that shape your reality. When you speak negatively, you are sowing seeds of doubt, fear and failure into your life. Beloved and friends, I'm not here to tell you that there is hope and that hope lies in changing the way you speak. God has given you the authority to declare victory over your life. Praise God in the book of Mark chapter 11 verse 23, Jesus said, truly I tell you, truly I tell you, if anyone say to this mountain, go 
and showed herself into the sea and does not doubt in their heart but believes that what they say will happen it will be done it will be done for them notice the emphasis on says it says and believes what you speak with faith has the power to move mountains what you declare with confidence in God's promises will come to pass yes it's time to break free from the chains from the chains of sabotage by speaking words of faith and victory instead of saying I can't I can't declare declare I can do all things to Christ who strengthens me Philippians Philippians clearly tells us in chapter 4 verse 30 instead of saying I am good I am good enough proclaim I am fearfully and wonderfully made Psalms Psalms tells us beloved and friends 139 verse 14 instead of saying you are nothing ever goes right for me declare all things work together for good to those who love God and those who are called according to his purpose Romans chapter Romans chapter 8 verse 20 tells us let your words align with God's truth today and watch your life praise God transforms the Bible is filled with examples of the power of positive confession the practice of speaking words words of faith and victory over your life and circumstances one of the most powerful examples is found in the story of David and Goliath beloved and friends when David a young shepherd boy faced the giant Goliath he did not shrink back in fear instead he spoke words of faith and victory he declared he declared this day the Lord will deliver you into the hands and I will strike you down and cut you off and cut off your head and for Samuel tells us it says clearly beloved and friends 17 verse 46 David words were not empty boasts they were declarations rooted his faith in God he knew that the, that the power of life and death is in his tongue and he chose to speak life praise God as a result he defeated Goliath and brought victory victory to Israel this is the power of positive confidence yes confession when you speak words of faith you are aligning, aligning yourself with God's will and you are inviting the power of the work in your life the principle is not just for David it is for you as well yes have the power to speak life into your first circumstances when you are faced with challenges do not speak words of defeat instead beloved declare the promises of God over your life when you are faced with sicknesses declare declare by his stripes I am healed Isaiah chapter 5 5 verse 3 to 5 tells us when you are faced with financial difficulties declare my God shall supply all my needs according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus Philippians chapter 4 yes beloved 19 clearly tells us when you are faced with fear declare declare God has not given us a spirit of fear but of power of love and of a sound mind praise God second Timothy chapter chapter 1 verse 7 your words your words have the power to change your circumstances they have the power to bring life to death the dead situations to bring hope to hopeless situations to bring victory to defeated defeated situations but his power is only effective when it is rooted in faith when it is aligned with God's word and when it is spoken with confidence confidence and conviction now that we have explored the power of positive confession let us turn our attention to the importance of guarding your tongue guarding your tongue the Bible warns us repeatedly 
about the dangers of careless words. Yes, in James, James chapter 3, verse 5 to 6, we read, The tongue is a small part of the body, but it makes great boasts. Yes, consider what the great force is to set a fire by a small spark. Yes, the tongue also is a fire and a world of evil among the parts of the body. The words you speak can ignite fires of discord bitterness and pain not only in your life but in the lives of others yes this is why it is so crucial to guard your tongue to exercise self-control and to speak speak wisely the bible calls this the fruit of the spirit yes galatians chapter 5 yes tells us verse 23 to 20, 22 to 23 if a disciple that requires intentionally manifest mindfulness and prayer jesus himself emphasized the importance of guarding your words in matthew chapter 12 verse 3 tells us 6 to 37 he says he says but i tell you that i tell you everyone will have to give an account on the day of judgment for every empty word they have spoken by the words you will be acquitted and by the words you will have condemned yes these words are a spark reminder of eternal significance of what we say every word we speak is recorded in heavenly books and we will one day have to give an account of for them this is not a call to silence but a call to speak wisely beloved is a call to use your words to build up not tear down to bless not curse to encourage and not uh, discouraged today proverbs chapter 15 verse 1 teaches us uh, a gentle answer turns away wrath uh, but a harsh word uh, stores up anger yes uh, let your words be filled with grace uh, and seasoned with salt uh, so that they may build uh, build up and not fear not tear down colossians chapter 4 verse 6 tells us uh, the disciples of uh, of silence knowing when to speak uh, and when to silent uh, to an often overlook aspect of god in your tongue it is a discipline beloved uh, of silence uh, yes ecclesiastes chapter 3 verse 7 tells us uh, that there is a time to be silent and a time to speak yes wisdom lies in knowing the difference the difference there are times when most the most powerful thing you can say is nothing at all in moments of anger frustration or pain yes silence can be a shield that guards your heart and mind from speaking words you might later regret yes jesus model this disciples during his trial before Pilate this despite the false accusations and injustice he faced he chose to remain silent Matthew chapter 27 yes verses 12 to 14 tells us his silence was not weakness but the strength of strength it was a testament of his self-control and his trust in the father's plan yes in your own life today there will be times when silence is the wisest course of action when you are tempted to speak out of anger and frustration pause and pray pause and pray ask god for wisdom to know when to speak and when to be silent let your words be few but powerful powerful spoken with purpose and intention yes now that we understand the importance of guarding our tongues let us explore some practical steps we can take to ensure that our words are life-giving and edifying and aligned with god's will beloved and friends one meditation on god's word daily beloved psalms tells us in 19 verse 14 says let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight O lord my strength 
and my redeemer when you fill your mind with god's word it will naturally not naturally overflow into your speech make it a habit to meditate on scriptures daily allowing it to shape your thoughts attitudes and words beloved and friends to pray for wisdom pray for wisdom and discernment james chapter 1 verse 5 clearly tells us it encourages us to speak god ask god for wisdom and he will generously give us before you speak take a moment to pray for wisdom and discernment ask god to guide your words to help you speak in a way that honors him and blesses blesses others <coughs> beloved and friends tree practice self-control proverbs chapter 13 verse 3 teaches us he who guards his mouth preserves his life, but he who opens wide his lips shall have destruction. Self-control is a fruit of the spirit, and it is essential when it comes, beloved and friends, of God in our tongue. Practice holding your tongue in moments of anger or frustration. Take a deep breath, pause, and choose your words carefully yes for beloved and friends speak uh, words of life uh, and encouragement today uh, ephesians chapter 4 verse 29 instructs us my friends uh, let no corrupt words uh, proceed out of your mouth uh, but what is good uh, for necessary edification that it may impart grace to the hearers uh, make it the habit to speak words of life and encouragement to those around you where it is kind words yes a compliment or a word of affirmation use your words to build up and bless others five my friends surround yourself with positive influence and my friends first corinthians chapter 15 verse 23 warns us not to be deceived evil company corrupts good habits yes the people you surround yourself with can have a significant impact on your speech yes choose to spend time with those who speak life yes life who encourage you who align you your, with your values let their positive influence inspire you to speak words that honors god six my friends reflect on your words daily yes at the end of each day take a moment to reflect on the words you have spoken ask yourself did your words build up or tear down yes did they align with god's word did they reflect the love and grace of Christ. If they find that you have spoken carelessly, confess to God and ask for his forgiveness and guidance in speaking more wisely in the future. As we come to the close of this message this morning, I want to share with you a testimony that illustrates the transformative power of words. There was a man named John who lived a life filled with anger, bitterness and bitterness and despair. His words were sharp, cutting and destructive. He spoke harshly to his family, his friends and even strangers. Yes, his life was a reflection of his words. He speak and fill with conflict, broken relationships and, and unhappiness. One day, John encountered a pastor who preached on the power of the tongue. Yes, the message pierced his heart and he realized that his words has been the source of much pain and suffering in his life. He confessed his sins to God and ask forgiveness. Yes, he began to study the Bible. I can relate to that today. The Bible, the prayer of wisdom, and he consciously choose to speak words of life and love and encouragement. As John changed his ways, he spoke his life. His life began to transform. His relationships were restored. His heart was filled with peace. 
and he experienced the joy and abundance that comes from speaking words that align with God's will. John's testimony, a powerful reminder, it is never too late to change the way we speak and to experience the transformative power, the transformative power of words as you take into this message. Don't let it simply store your heart and fade away. Let it move you, my friends, to action. Share this message with others who need to hear it today. There are countless souls who are struggling under the weight of their calling, who are battling in silence and wondering if their faith is worth it. Be the voice that reminds them that God sees them, that he honors their faith, and that he rewards, his reward is on the way. If this message has touched your heart today, take a moment to comment. Yes, my friends, yes, praise God, thank you, Jesus, and stand in alignment with God's word. Let it be, let it, let it, this is be a declaration of faith. A Bold step towards uh, the we are embracing the course of trusting God for the reward. Every amen is just not a comment, it's a statement uh, of belief and proclamation that you are chosen, you are chosen by God and ready to walk uh, in the fullness of His faith. Uh, and for those who feel led, yes, my friends, uh, today I want you to continue listening to this message, uh, it's powerful. Uh, Yes, my friends, I don't want you to miss his words. He is really saying to you straight, encouragement and uplift his chosen ones. When you, when, you, when you listen, my friends, you are stepping into a community of believers who are committed <clears throat> of walking out the feet together, supporting one another through the trials and, and celebrating the victories that brings final encouragement to share this message. Don't keep the fire to yourself, spread it so that others may be ignited with the truth of God's word. There are many who need this encouragement today, who need to remember, reminded yeah, that their small faith can move mountains. Together we can light a fire in the hearts of the chosen, preparing them for the glorious future that God has. Yes, promise my friends, let's walk this journey together trusting in God's faithfulness. Yes, every step of the way, go forward today with the knowledge that you are chosen, you are called, and the faith, no matter how small, is more powerful than you realize today. Stay connected to God, my friends. Trust in Him in all things, and let your faith grow into something, something unshakable. You are about to see the mighty hand of God move in your life in the way you never taught beloved positive as I stand before you this Tuesday morning urge you to take this message to heart your words have the power to shape your life to influence the life of those around you and to bring about God's will on earth as it is in heaven choose Choose to speak life, choose to speak love, to speak victory. Let your words be a reflection of the goodness and grace and love of God today. Remember the power of life and death is in your tongue. Yes, use this power wisely. Yes, beloved, with reverence and the knowledge that your words carry today. They carry eternal significance. May God bless you. You, yes, go forth to speak the words and set the world on fire and the love truth. Let us pray in faith together. Heavenly Father, today let's pray. I come before you with the reverence and all knowing that you are the God of all creation, the one who speaks 
the world into existence. Oh, I stand before you today, oh Father, lifting up this message and every soul who receive it in receive it. Lord, I pray that your Holy Spirit will move powerfully through these words let them be like fire igniting the hearts of those who hear and read them oh father just as your word is described as a hammer that breaks the rock in pieces let these words shatter the chains of negativity doubt and despair today and have heal your people captive for that i ask father i ask for your cleansing of your tongues and purifying our hearts teach us to speak words of life words of faith and words of victory let our mouths be fountains of blessings pouring forth wisdom O oh father wisdom encouragement and truth O oh father silence every voice of the enemy today that seeks to sow discord destruction or death through our words O oh father may we be vessels of your grace O oh god speaking speaking with authority and love that comes from you alone O oh father i lift up those who will share this message god let their obedience to spread this words be blessed abundantly may those who hear or read this message today be drawn closer to you O oh father may this their lives be transformed by the power of your word O oh father lord god bless every person who are listening today oh bless them oh god bless them in a very special blessing let the destruction of agreement be a seed yes planted in fertile ground healing harvests of righteousness peace and joy in their lives oh father father god i pray that you will set a guard over my mouth that we might not sin against you with our words oh father teach us the discipline of silence when necessary and give us the wisdom to know when to speak and when to hold our tongues oh father let our words be seized with grace filled with the love of jesus christ and the reflective of your truth oh father lord for every heart that is broken, for every soul that is weary today, I pray that this message be, be like the, the beaming, bring healing and restoration, that it be a beacon of hope, shine lights into the dark darkness that comes in our lives. May your words bring, bring life where there is yet hope, where there was despair and peace and where there was tears in the mighty name of Jesus I declare that no weapon form against us shall prosper and those who receive and we shall prosper let the fire of your presence consume every plan of the enemy let the words accomplish all that you have purpose to do today thank you lord for the power of your word for the privilege of speaking life and for the transformation that comes that aligns our tongue with truth oh father we give you all the glory honor and praise today in jesus mighty name we pray amen hallelujah thank you jesus praise god thank you jesus blessed be the name of jesus thank you jesus for this word today praise god i pray to father god do i'm running later those who are sick today i pray that you heal them in the name of jesus as i sent for the healing anointing wherever you are listening from the usa the uk canada the caribbean any part of europe around the world as i sent for this anointing right now be Heal in the name of Jesus. Be set free by the power of the Holy Spirit in Jesus' precious and gracious and wonderful name. Amen and amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Praise God. God bless you richly in Jesus' precious and gracious and wonderful name. Amen. Praise God.